I follow Latics with the chairman, Simon Corney. Simon, what have you made of the season so far, even though it's still very early on? It is early, but I think, probably like most people, I'm disappointed. We've had four games, we've lost four games. The two of those games we've been winning, and um, I thought we were good value at the time for those leads. And unfortunately, we end up getting beaten, and yeah, it's disappointing. At the beginning of the season, in the very first programme, you mentioned that fans can expect a, a couple more signings, some surprise signings. Where are you up to with them? We're still still talking to players and to clubs. Um, I'm always very careful what I say because people sometimes take it literally. We do have one or two targets that we're still trying to get into the club, but it's not always in our hands. So I'll give you an example. We've got a club that we've agreed a price with. Um, we've agreed terms with a player, but they've got a few injuries and now decided not to let him out. Now that could change at any moment. We all know when the window closes and um, we have to get our business done by then. So I'm not panicking. We are four games in, we've lost them all. I'm, I'm upset about that, but there's a long, long way to go. I think most people agree with me that when the season started, we were all happy as a club, as fans, with the team that we'd put together. It was a majority of players that had done so well for us last year. Unfortunately, We've come back and um, I have to agree with the manager. The desire and ambition of one or two of the players perhaps leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, I don't want to say too much. It, it is early days, but there's a lot more to come from them. I think that we do need to strengthen the team in any event, but it's, uh, it's a case of when and not if. And uh, the manager's well aware of it. I'm aware of it. It's, it's a juggling act. At the start of the season for pre-season, a number of uh, backroom staff were brought in to help with the pre-season. They've stayed on, Tommy Wright, Richie Wellens and John Harbin. What have you made of the job that they've done? Listen, it's hard to say. I think they're doing a good job. Obviously, we're in a results driven business. At the end of the day, I know that, they know that. Um, they are directly responsible for the team, for the players coming in, for the results on the pitch. So am I happy with them as people? Absolutely, they're good people, hard-working people, but it's a results driven business and we know that at the end of the day we're going to go so far without getting results. It is early days, I'm not worried about it, there's a wealth of experience there. Um, the ones, Richie for example has come in, he's new into coaching, but works very well with the players, works very hard. Um, John, we all know about John Harbin, and obviously we've got Tommy and John and Shez have been here for a while. but. Um, Look, you asked me if I'm happy, I'd, I'd like to have six or nine points. We haven't got them, so it's, it's a bit of a loaded question. I'm sure they'll turn it around there. In the past, whenever the question about investment has come up, you've always been honest and, and truthful and, and said that you're looking to sell the club, but to the right person. Is that still the case? Absolutely. Selling the club to anyone is not a problem. Selling the club to the right person is, is trickier. Uh, I'm actually talking to two parties at the moment but one in particular who I think we've got a fair chance of getting over the line. He is in fact doing uh, due diligence at the club as we speak. A friend of mine that I've known for a while, he's a businessman from Dubai called Abdallah. And um, he's been here for three of, the four, three of the four games that we've had so far this season. And although he probably hasn't been too happy with the results like the rest of us, he recognizes that it's a, a good club, a proud club, and there's an opportunity to perhaps take it further. Look, these things are never easy. Uh, it, it's an ongoing process. We've had people in the past that have got close. It's not about the money. It absolutely isn't. It's about, as I've always said, about finding the right person. People may choose to believe that or not. But at the same time, it has to work for everybody. And I mean that including the fans. Because the last thing I ever want to do is to leave here and hand it over to the wrong person. You never know entirely who you're getting into bed with, but you, you get a good feel about things. So, look, let's see what happens. Um, it's uh, it's an interesting time. I'd like to try and do something before the window closes, obviously, because that enables somebody to bring in players and to put investment into the team. But if it's not to be, it's not to be. Sometimes when the lawyers get involved, these things get held up a little bit. But um, I, I'm hopeful. Just on that, what would that mean for the club? Well, <clears throat> as I said, I can take it up to a certain point. Um, whether everybody agrees or not, the fact we've remained in this division, although I don't consider it a huge achievement, I do consider it to be a degree of success, but to get to the top six or to get into the championship, it definitely needs somebody to come in and invest some money into the team. 
Uh, just three weeks ago, we got a letter from the EFL, from the Finance Committee, uh, telling us that we are embargoed, not because we haven't paid any bills, but because we've actually overspent. There is a salary cap which uh, protocol which we have breached because we've actually got a very high wage bill for Oldham Athletic this year. It's just one of those things where, again, people might comment and, and might doubt what we're saying, but it's it's on file. It came from the Football League. And, um, yeah, we need to get more investment and sponsorship in, in to enable the club to bring in other players. It's something we're working on. And, again, even if we don't get any investment, it's something I have to work on and find a way to bring more money into the club. But um, you asked the question, what would that mean? If you get the right person, it can mean anything. We know that. Um, as I said, up to a point, I'm able to uh, manage this club. Further than that, I, I need help. You mentioned before that in the past when possible investors have come in, it's, it's not quite been as close as you'd, li as you'd like. Where would you say you're up to with, with this potential now? Probably as close as I've been. Uh, you never really know and have to be careful what I say because I'm on camera. But I would like to get something done. It's never about the, the cost of buying the club because that's almost irrelevant. Whether, again, people believe that or not, that's the truth. Um, I think we have a fair chance. In the past, it's fallen down for one reason or another. Sometimes it's uh, you know, our fault, if you like. Sometimes people have backed out. You never really know how serious people are until they send over a deposit. We haven't been at that stage at, you know, up till now. Um, it is important that the club get investment. There's no two ways about it because we've seen several clubs in this division attract investment. Northampton, who were just a Division Two club a couple of years ago, they've now got a Chinese consortium. We've seen the likes of uh, Portsmouth. They've now got uh, Eisner, who uh, the ex-chief of Disney. So you have to be careful that we're not left behind. Um, but we've, we've tried for a long time, and it, it's not easy. And finally then, Simon, is there anything that you'd like to say to the fans? Yeah. It's early days. This is Oldham. We know nothing is easy. I really did not want to have a struggle like we've had the last couple of years. I wanted to, at the very least, achieve mid-table security and to look like a team that could possibly push on to a top six place. It doesn't look great at the moment, I know, but it really is three league games in, four games in total. The window hasn't closed. There'll be a lot of twists and turns and, you know, keep the faith. I know that's thrown about very easily, but but it really is a matter of just trusting the manager, trusting us that we'll, we're trying to do the best that we can and hoping that players will, will do what they need to do.